Creo Parametric 10.0 introduces a new placement type for symbols and surface finish annotations. There are multiple use cases when symbols may need to be related to other annotations in MBD. One of them is when unique index balloon symbols would need to be associated to other GDNT annotations so that those could later be used for the preparation of bill of characteristics for inspection planning. Once I start placing a symbol in MBD, I can pick other annotations as its parent. At this moment, the symbol would inherit the same annotation plane and I will be able to control the relative distance between the annotations, which is illustrated with a dashed line. Users can also query related annotations and observe the cross-highlighting behavior, which indicates the parent-child relation of related annotations. Symbols that were related to other annotations would behave as a group of stacked annotations. This means that you can move the parent annotation and the entire group would follow to the new location. The same applies for assignment of group annotations to other combination states. Once I assign one of them, the entire group follows. Symbols may also be unrelated back to free placement from a group. You can achieve that using the new unrelate command in the contextual menu. This new enhancement is extended also to surface finish annotations, and it allows users to achieve new standard required placement types. In this case, I will place the surface finish on top of the geometrical tolerance in order to organize my annotations and achieve improved readability of GDNT annotations. Finally, the new placement type may assist with flag notes for noting special treatments that should be applied on specific model surfaces and understood by downstream consumers during manufacturing. Using semantic query, I can query the special flag note caution symbol and quickly find the impacted model surfaces that should get the special treatment. 